All right. Good afternoon, Savannah. Welcome to the Savannah Business Showcase. And I'm here with two very special guests, uh, Miss Paula Chrysler. Uh, Director of Healthy Living and Community Development at Healthy Savannah, and Miss Melody McCarthy, uh, Content Coordinator for In Marketing. We're going to talk about uh, some cool things today with the uh, 2018 Encourage Health series. Uh, but first, the way I like to start the show is with a uh, scenario. And you can both answer, you can add to each other's answer, or whatever you want to oh. do. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't, brief, I didn't brief you guys on no. anything, so just, we're going to get into it. <laughs> cool. Uh, so um, here's the scenario you walk through your neighborhood. Uh, a little kid comes up to you and says, uh, Paula, Melody, you're my hero. You know, oh. how, how can I be like you when I grow up? So in the language that a 10 or 12 y'all can understand, what does it take to be Paula? What does it take to be Melody? You take it away first. Okay. So, um, so it's a learning, you know, it's every year, just learn every year, I think is the most important thing. And just know that every year you get better and uh, I think the first thing that you start with is always be kind to yourself and mm. then to everybody around you mm. and that will carry you really through life and expect kindness as mm. well mm -hmm. no I think I totally agree it's funny while she was talking she kind of took the words that I don't think I could have said without her saying it first. <laughs> um, but I, th I think, I, f I feel still pretty young, but still when I look back on how I felt when I was 10 or 12 and all the problems you go through, you just really have to take the advice also of the older people who are giving you advice. You know, you think they don't know what they're talking about. My problem is so big right now and I'm, I feel so defeated by it, but you just have to know that their advice comes from a place of knowledge and of have living through a similar situation and so it just will get better. And mm. I, I, I think about that a lot is how, how I feel that my problems were so big and I've gotten past them and they can too. Mm. And Beautiful. I would like to add one thing, too, just based on what Melody said is based, um, so r currently happening right here in Savannah is the National Youth at Risk Conference down mm. at the Hyatt. It wraps up today, actually. It started Sunday evening, but the Sunday uh, evening keynote speaker was Stedman Graham. So as everybody knows him by Oprah's man. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so and he he but so he had two things. He was like, because he almost got derailed at a young age. Uh, he's a very successful businessman on his own, um, but he just decided that he was gonna continue and he encapsulated it in a uh, poem that was written, actually, I don't know what year, I've actually ordered the little book, uh, but it's called The Race. Hmm. And it's um, it takes about five minutes, So, and I don't have it memorized and I don't have it with me, but um, basically um, it's about a little kid who falls down during the race because he was really intent on winning. Mm. He fell down, but his dad and his folks, the folks around encouraged him to get up and go. And so, and he fell down three times during this race, during mm. this long five minute poem. And so the message is, is you know, how, how many times have I failed? Oh my gosh, just, you know, I don't mm -hmm. count, I don't worry about failing because I learn. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I pick up, I get up every time and go. Mm -hmm. I don't stay down. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, so when the first thing you said about, you know, just expect kindness in people, I'm not really a super religious person, <laughs> but like uh, I've been studying the Bible a little bit more lately and I gotta say it. So uh, <laughs> like, it, I think it was in Mark, a disciple asked Jesus, like, what's, what's the most important uh, commandment? And the second thing he said is that to to realize that, you know, you know, basically do what you can for your brothers. Mm -hmm. And that God is in everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what it comes yes. down to. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's, that's just, you know, yes. and that, when you said yeah. expect kindness and to give kindness, that's just, you know, because God's every, in everyone. Yeah. You know? Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So cool. on to the 2018. <laughs> <laughs> on to the 2018 in Mark, uh, Encourage Health Series. So, yes. so can you guys uh, explain to the listeners about what it's about? and Sure. So every year we put on a lecture series where four times a year we um, invite community members to sign up for, for a free lunch and lecture and kind of learn, um, hear from a speaker on different topics each lecture, uh, different things about your your health in life and that's kind of where the partnership comes from with Healthy Savannah and us is we really want to bring light to not necessarily medical health but things you can do just all the time to be healthy and we invite those speakers to kind of um, talk about those things. Mm. 
Awesome. So this is our fifth year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, And so, and uh, we have in the past, if the listeners out there will, if they have been, will know that it's been at the Savannah Morning News Auditorium. Well, mm-hmm. that is now no longer an available location, and so we're going to be at the Demery Center, mm-hmm. okay. just down the road a piece, just not even a mile down yeah. the road from uh, the uh, Savannah Morning News Auditorium mm-hmm. out off Chatham Parkway. And uh, the other thing that we do during this these series is then we have some corporate sponsors because we have a lot of media sponsors, which we're very excited about, mm-hmm. which really helps us get the word out. But our corporate sponsors then uh, provide funds so that we can then turn around and they, they, fil- they filter through Healthy Savannah, uh, but we're able to give a grant out to local nonprofits that have something that in their uh, program- programming that uh, emphasizes health. Mm. And so um, we're excited about the, right. to be able to do that every year as right. well. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so so I'm, I'm new to Savannah uh-huh. for the most part. Uh, this year will be my second year here. I've only, I haven't even done a show for a year yet, so I'm, so I, I don't understand. Well, welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So a, a lot of this goes over my head. So okay. like, what is so the the series? Like, what are, what are people talking about? What who are some of the speakers? All that type. You know, the details. Sure. So um, as far as the actual lecture speakers, on April seventeenth, we have Dr. Luke Kurtzinger coming, and he's speaking about blue zones, which I don't know if you're familiar with what those are. Uh, the I think so. The areas of the country where people live yeah of the world yeah where people are living over a hundred years old and just what are they doing in their daily lives which i think is really fascinating i'm Mm -hmm. really excited about that i get to go what are they doing in their daily lives as far as community and healthy lifestyle nutrition that really allows them to live that much and it's it kind of encompasses mental health uh physical health uh family and relationship health. So it's really kind of going to be a cool talk. And then um, June 26th is Dr. Evelyn Higgins for the four pillars of health. Do you want to speak a little bit more on so, and again, it's it's really just a great follow through from uh, Dr. Kurtzinger You're talking right. about the blue zones, because again, those pillars are really about your uh, physical health, your mental health, mm-hmm. your spiritual health, and uh, and then, you know, how you treat your body. So, mm-hmm. uh, and she's um, actually has written a book, and uh, I think it'll be available too, and I haven't gotten a copy of it yet, sure. but so mm-hmm. yeah, that's Dr. E- Evelyn Higgins in... June. June. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then next is we have in um, August, we have Janet McCarthy, who's a local fitness guru mm-hmm. who okay. has been around a long time and uh, is there to really talk about fitness in the workplace and how we can uh, incorporate that into our daily living routine. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be really exciting. Yeah, I love Janet. So that one's going to be really cool. I've awesome. worked with her in my past. I'm really Are, are you related? No, n- not related. <laughs> How funny. We have a last name. We always got that oh, too yeah, when we worked sure together. Do. <laughs> yeah. And they always asked us that. But no, I mean, somewhere down the line in the Irish heritage, Probably. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then October 30th is, oh, I'm going to not say this her name correctly oh well and it is a challenge so it's maria okay and then her uh full last name is dejkik Dej- I've Ivan Kovic. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So, um, and she'll be speaking about bone health. So, like we said, it's not necessarily mm. about medical health, um, mm-hmm. but just more about just lifestyle health. And we're you know, I think that's part of our culture now, mm-hmm. and which is a great thing. I think society is now a lot more focused on what we can do to extend our life and like what we can do to be healthy. It's very um, in to do 5Ks we were just talking yeah. about before yeah. um, before we started here. And I just think it's really important to get out the news about all of the aspects of health. And so mm. that's kind of what this lecture series is for. And it's open to anybody. You register online. And like um, Paula said, we then give out a nonprofit, which kind of adds to that health aspect, mm. uh, the health of society. You know, what are we doing to encourage health through our organizations, mm-hmm. um, things like that. So we're really excited about awesome. it. Awesome. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So how, how do... How do people apply to be a speaker? Because I have a lot of uh, health professionals on. And I meet a lot of health. And my wife's a pharmacist. Sure. So, cool. so, you know, so like for next year, how would a person apply to be a speaker? So there's a press release that goes out. Okay. That is a call for speakers. I think last year it went out in November. Sure. Yeah. It, later, in the, later in the year. It was the right year after the after we closed out the series okay. um, of last year. And then there was a call to speakers. And we had almost 30 um, oh, wow. responses and we have four so i'm just going to say here on the air that you know maybe next year we can expand it sure. to maybe mm. six 
at, because we just, I mean, we have great speakers yeah. that we are just waiting house, in the line. Right. Yeah. And, and we do. We get a full house almost every lecture. Right. You know, mm, people right. are really excited about this. And I think it's l- less because it's free and more because it's important. Yeah. Um, and right. it's really a really cool series. Um, and so I think that's a great idea to talk about if we do have so many, um, there's a potential for obviously expanding that. Mm. So and officially to register because right. you do have to register to to be admitted to the little space where we're going to be having the series this year and i shouldn't call it little space but <laughs> it's because i think we have a capacity of 80 okay um and so that's a lot of people but still we always have we'll we have, have, have a wait we always have a wait list mm-hmm. always so but you go to the um healthy savannah website which is healthy org. Mm. And you will see on the right hand panel the Encourage Health logo, and it's a great logo. It's, you know, in markets, mm-hmm. folks designed it and created it, and it's just really cool. I love it. <laughs> it's uh, just pops right out there. And then just click on that, and then you will see the opportunity to register for, register for each of the four. Awesome. We just put it out in our e newsletter mm-hmm. for the first time, and it, so we're already getting, we're not, we're at least a quarter full on each lecture oh, already well, already mm-hmm. and so the first one's up. not to like <laughs> sign up <laughs> yeah, sign now up and Please so again that's at healthy savannah.org see the encourage health logo on the right hand side just mm. click on it and go awesome yeah. so so like i said once again before before yeah. we get cable there yeah uh, that i have a personal trainer now uh-huh. and i saw him he he feels like uh, he's been doing it for a while but he feels like savannah's not that health conscious but i'm thinking it's just the community he's in that he's not working with like so how do you guys see it this is a deep south Fried food is a big thing. This is Savannah. Everybody's drinking, you know, say party at all the time, <laughs> eating great food. So, like, is Savannah becoming more health conscious, do you think? So, I mean, I guess... I'll take the I'll take the front of this one because I kind of live that lifestyle. To mm. be honest, you know I'm 25 and I do I eat badly and I <laughs> I g- go out sometimes and I enjoy life. Sure, but I am health conscious at the same time. Probably mm. not as much as I should be. I think we're moving towards that. And mm. for me, I think Savannah is. Um, headed towards and focused on health this encouraged series the partnerships healthy savannah has i mean you wouldn't you would be so amazed i was amazed i run our facebook contest for the um, nonprofit nominations for the Mm -hmm. grant we give out which the requirements were please tell us about what you're doing to encourage health in our community and we Mm -hmm. had i mean i want to say 15 nonprofits apply with information about what they did in the community or what they're doing to encourage health so as much as maybe yeah certain people aren't hearing about it it's happening everywhere and Mm -hmm. it's really kind of amazing to be a part of seeing it um and getting more involved and so i think hopefully things like this and getting this information out will get people more involved Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take the, <laughs> the long view here okay, okay. <laughs> because I, I agree 100% with what Melody has just said. So Healthy Savannah has been around 10 years, and uh, many people know and many people don't know, but it was the, the seed was planted by our former mayor, Otis Johnson. Mm. Um, he, you won't know this, but he had a heart attack in 2006, right at the beginning, I believe, of his second term in office. Oh, and he was out, and, and if you know what he looks like, he's a tall, thin man. And you would never in a million years think he was a candidate for a severe heart attack. Mm. And he did have and he's like, if this can happen to me, this can happen to anyone in our Mm. community. So we had some really solid leadership at the very, very beginning. Mm. And so we are now official 501c3. Uh, We have been for uh, just a little over five years. And uh, so we were just we we really just we we. We brought, got a bunch of leaders together and said, what does a healthy Savannah look like mm-hmm. way down the road? And so we kind of defined it. And so uh, kind of our little elevator speech is that we're not a uh, we're not a program. We're not a project. We're a social movement. We want the healthy choice to be the easy choice for everyone in our community, regardless of their age, their income level or their neighborhood. And so currently we know, based on a lot of data, that we have not only what you guys have called out here is some really, you know, I mean, fried chicken's available to everybody. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, drinks are available to everybody. Sugary food is available to everybody. And there are, so we work in the policy systems and environmental change arena. Okay. And so to the uh, the first big thing that we actually uh, brought, well, there's 
a, a group and we're a coalition, public-private coalition. So we have partners at the city, the county, uh, the hospitals, obviously in market. Um, we, I mean, it just goes down the list, all the academic institution, the school district, uh, uh, the health district, um, just it goes on and on and on. We're not focused on health care. We are focused on health prevention. Gotcha. And uh, because, you know, if I do get sick, then I know there's good health care already. Mm-hmm. But what we're trying to do is keeping yeah. we want everybody not to even need that health care. So, right. you know, while everybody's talking about what are we going to do about all these medical costs? Well, we've got the answer. Mm. Let's go to prevention. Let's eat better. Let's avoid sugar. Let's avoid. And I'm just going to say it here too, meat, because meat <laughs> is just bad for everybody. I don't care who you are. And everybody just can't get their heads around that and you know you go out to find restaurants and their (laughs) restaurants are just meat laden Uh, and but there's all and there's all kinds of uh, evidence out there that says it's not good for you and have we lived a long time did I used to eat meat yes do I think it tastes good yes Uh, and so but now for years and I'm 65 and I'm doing half marathons I'm walking them I'm active I'm don't need I don't go to the doctor. You know, yeah. I go for my routine blood sugar test, not sugar, but blood test that, you know, make sure I know what my de- my information is. But other than that, I'm healthy. I don't need to access that medical system. Yeah. And yeah. so that That's conversation awesome. over there can, we just keep going, well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, the, it's really a simple answer, but it's very hard to do. And it's because we don't make the healthy choice the easy yeah. choice. So the smoke-free air ordinance um, mm-hmm. it was one that we were uh, that we're, we uh, have a new ordinance in. This was back in 2011, where we have uh, smoke-free indoor public spaces. Okay. And after the implementation of that, so you wouldn't know that because right. you just go in and enjoy smoke-free mm-hmm. air. Very true, yeah. And um, our deaths and death, rate, death rates due to heart disease and heart attacks have plummeted in Chatham oh. County since oh, the implementation of that ordinance. And that is our number one killer in the entire United States, in uh, Chatham County and Georgia. And so we've been able to really directly impact Mm. by that policy change. Mm. Another one that we're engaged in, or two more that we're engaged in, um, and we, again, we have all these partners that are working with us, is uh, complete streets and getting more uh, walking and biking trails in our community. So those are two very direct, and a complete street means one that has sidewalks and ADA accessibility and bike lanes and so it's safe for all users not just the cars and we say from 8 to 80 from the young to the old so they can get to school they can get to church and everybody can in to work to play to dine Uh, I was just saying I walked down here from you know it's about a mile I guess and so people go oh I can't walk a mile can you walk 20 minutes sure I can and so it it just you change your mind Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Um, get the sugary drinks at, out of the way, you know, just in, when you uh, have fruit available at your workplace rather than a bowl of candy. I mean, those are some simple steps that you can start taking to start taking. So make that healthy choice easy. Right. And, right. and that's kind of the key. The, uh, we're working on a healthy food financing initiative with mm-hmm. the city where we're going to where because there's a lot of places in our community, especially in the underserved community, where there's not access mm-hmm. to not only no sidewalks, but no, no access to healthy food either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But in market, in their uh, markets at their uh, stores, have healthy choices mm-hmm. in there. So they're mm-hmm. a different kind of a convenience store. Right. And that, that is why we are so honored to partner with them, because they've been very intentional about that. And but to to what your, your question was, I think when you talk to your personal trainer who says, you know, Savannah is not, you know, we might not be as focused as maybe where he came from, but I think Savannah is moving towards that in its, sure, our convenience stores and market has those healthy options. We have restaurants down here, vegan restaurants that are opening up. I think there are really, there's a lot about Savannah that as a culture, we are focused on health. We have the biggest biking community, I think, in Georgia. Um, And so I think there are, it might not be seen by somebody who's focused on working out or 
that aspect of health. But if you look at it as o- overreaching, we really do, I think, have a great a great area for that healthy living or healthy lifestyle. Awesome. And I agree. The short answer is, yes, we are moving yeah, forward. Yeah, absolutely. But do we have a big mountain in front of us? We just have to yeah. acknowledge that we do and that, you know, and just thanks for inviting us here so we yeah. can keep yeah. moving our social <laughs> movement forward right. because there are more healthy choices. When I first moved here 15 years ago, it was just me one-on-one talking to folks. And then mm. when somebody said, hey, you want to be part of Healthy Savannah and we're, this is what we're doing, I was like, are you kidding me? There's more than one? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. And now it's just, and so there are, there's a lot more people know about yep. it. Mm. Uh, just, uh, you know, the newsletter and the Facebook and all the stuff that goes on with, you know, being out there in the community. But we're a very small organization. We actually don't have any staff. We uh, are provided an office uh, by one of our partners. Mm. Um, and it's so my cell phone number is the phone number to Healthy <laughs> Savannah. <laughs> but. But regardless, we get out there. We have a lot of volunteers that really uh, get out there and make an impact and show what Healthy Savannah is and how we can help. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I think continued education is a big part of that, mm-hmm. which yep. is a big re- I'm sure why you did the uh, Encourage Health series, mm-hmm. because even just a couple of days ago, uh, you know, I, I bought an orange juice and I drank half of it. My wife was like, do you know how much sugar is in there? <laughs> exactly. And with, but you think orange juice is healthy yeah. and right. vitamin C, but it's just so much sugar yeah, right. in it, a oh, it's crazy. healthy drink. Mm-hmm. You know? So just continuing education. Absolutely, is, is yeah. And, you know, you think um, – you think you know all like I had no idea what a blue zone was before mm. and it's funny my job brought it to me um, I mean I'm very interested in health and I find this stuff fascinating and you know cultural cultures and what they're doing and stuff but I had no idea what it was and to know that there's a lecture for other people out there to learn a little bit more about what a blue zone is I think it it will open up people's eyes to more healthy lifestyle choices Mm -hmm. Um, and so will all four of the lectures that was just a simple example Are, are there any blue zones in North America Yes, there's one, uh, actually there are two, well no, just one in North America and it's in Loma Linda, California. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. Um and um and and it anyway, it's part of I might get this wrong is the Seventh Day Adventist. Yes. That's okay. Correct. Oh, okay. Because they do they are they they do make the healthy choice the easy choice. It's mm. part of who they are. Mm. Right. And so, and it is very much an enclave. And then actually in South America, in Costa Rica, Mm -hmm. uh, there's one on the uh, west coast of Costa Rica. Um, Trying to remember the little uh, town that it's in. But again, it's uh, uh, the culture is very vegetarian focused. Um, and, um, you know, and and the population is still um, active Mm -hmm. and working doing all kinds of things even at 100 yeah. easily. It's really fascinating because I, when I heard about this, it was really fascinating. So I looked it up and you can see like pie graphs and pie charts about the different aspects of each of these cultures that are a little bit different from each other, but mm-hmm. that each one has a specific thing they're doing at a high, high level very well. Mm-hmm. And it's adding to that, you know, healthy lifestyle, whether it be relationships, family, mm-hmm. just really cool stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited about that lecture. Yeah. So sign up for that one. And then the other four too. That's <laughs> just the first one on my mind. We got to get past that one. And, yeah. you know, four pillars of health next. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, Savannah Business Showcase is a business show. So um, what I've noticed is that uh, high-ranking executives and business owners, small business owners, entrepreneurs, they're very health conscious. They're mm-hmm. very, you know, they, they they work out every morning. Like, So question to you guys mm-hmm. in the industry, like, why do you think that is? Ooh, for, for me, I work out after a long day. Like, I don't work mm-hmm. out in the morning. I probably should just to <laughs> kind of get up and get going because it really is supposed to work that way. But also, like, you have so much going on in your head when it comes to family and, you know, stressors on bills and stressors at work where you're paying somebody else's bills mm-hmm. or making sure things go smoothly um, for your company. And I think it's a real stress reliever would be my first go to just mm-hmm. in my, um, you know, green opinions <laughs> yeah no i totally agree with melody i think they no because there is there's tons of stress that comes with well and and we could call it any job right you know right. i don't care how old you are you got stress right, right. <laughs> yeah. so but uh they're paying attention to trends across a lot of things and they understand that for their business to do well they need to be healthy they need mm-hmm. to be there mm-hmm. they need to be engaged with their 
whatever processes they've got going, whether it's a lot of employees or not so many, but whatever they're doing, they've got to be well to keep it moving mm-hmm. forward. Mm-hmm. And so that um, I think is another key thing. And a lot of and so now those same employers, those leaders are trying to find ways to help their employees do the same mm-hmm. thing. Very true. Absolutely. And uh, some of them are shifting from just like this health care type health fair to mm-hmm. a more health prevention type area. Because again, mm-hmm. not it's only is it going to make their their business, the business, because the goal would be for their business to be better, right? right. Produce more, be better, better service, whatever all those things are. And that comes from having happier employees mm-hmm. and healthier employers. Mm-hmm. And so uh, so it's a win-win for all because then as an employee, then I would just go home and then that same benefit reaches my family. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. So mm-hmm. the in my, my life, our mm-hmm. life, the biggest hurdle is always time. Oh. You know, so like how... How do you advise people to find the time to, to work out or to you know exercise or to eat healthier or to make better decisions? Sure. My my, uh, my advice comes from nowhere of feeling the um, uh, my lifestyle is very like get up in the morning, go to work, nothing to do after work. So I go work out. So I, like mm-hmm. I, I don't have the greatest advice because I my schedule is very <laughs> open. And so I can do that because I want to. But, you know, for people with children, I am amazed by those people who wor- wake up at 4 a.m., go mm-hmm. and work out, go to work and then have a whole entire night with their kids doing homework. I mean, I just admire those people because I hope to be one one day. Mm-hmm. But I know right now it's easy for me to say I find time because I just make myself go even when I really don't want to (laughs) but I mean finding time I don't have so and so as a much older person (laughs) so how I find time is I make sure it's a priority for me and I know what healthier choices are and so you know so when I do get to the grocery store when I go to the grocery store I make sure I get the healthy food and I'm you know, I can't tell you the last time I've been to a fast food anything, mm. you know, because and everybody thinks that fast food is really the answer. Well, it's killing you, number one, for the most part, because whatever's there is not good for you. Right. Uh, and so and for less money than you're going to spend at one of those drive throughs you can literally get to the store, get some really good um, vegetarian food. And there's mm. programs in Savannah that engage with all kinds of folks that say this is and now here's how you can buy it for not so much money or if you do have money then you know I mean there's always Whole Foods and Brighter Day Mm -hmm. and you know then so because everybody always talks about the expense well there's ways to go to the store and for 10 bucks prepare a great meal for four people that is really healthy for you and so not so 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 you just have you you plan your time and there's you know there's friends that are in that and so I learned early on, I, you don't know this, but I had a 25-year career at FedEx in operations mm-hmm. management. So, yes, I had to time manage mm-hmm. all the time. Oh, you know, man. it's like yeah. having a watch on and, you know, every, you know, minute was a, a critical minute. And so having a planner and then just blocking that time out and then making sure that you do that every day mm-hmm. is just one or uh, and spend time with your family mm-hmm. and go shopping as a family mm-hmm. uh, and you know, make the list ahead of time and pick that up and know how much it's going to be. And so it, you really have to plan to do well because the choices aren't easy. Yeah. You know, there's right. way too much in front of us to let's drive through the drive through. Let's drive here. Let's drive there. Right. Well, no, there's a lot right. of places that most trips. What is it? I think it's like 17 percent and not most. So 17 percent of the trips are taken within one mile of where you right. are mm-hmm. in your car. Mm-hmm. So start just walk. Walk. Yeah. Bike and I ride, guess, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I spoke too honestly at first. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> it is good. Honesty is good. <laughs> no, <laughs> but so thinking about it a little more, I mean, yes, I do misbehave and I do have a lot more time. But at the same time, you can kind of look back and say, you know, on a Saturday, instead of sleeping in bed all day, get up and take your kids or take your family, take your friends to the farmer's market yeah. and do that healthy yes. shopping and yep. kind of be outside in the fresh air. Because as much as exercise is important, I mean, fresh air and sunlight truly mm-hmm. does do something to the body. So that itself is taking a healthy step rather than being in your house. So mm-hmm. there are ways to kind of do that with your family that obviously I was not thinking about with my <laughs> 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 But I do think you could make it a priority and like think a little more. It truly is. And that goes back to Savannah being a great place for exercising. I mean, our weather is beautiful. For yeah. being outside. We yeah. have the beach. Go take a walk on the beach on a Saturday or Sunday. Like we do have really great options to do some of that stuff. 
Yeah. Awesome. Well, we are going to take a break. Uh, quick break. And we're going to come right back with the lightning round so nobody go anywhere. Ooh, so, okay. so, so really quick, uh, okay. tell, tell everybody how they can reach you, the best way to get involved with the series and uh, get involved with the um, Healthy Savannah and in market. Sure. Right now? Yes, oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, End Market Encourage Health Series is starting. The first one's on April 17th. Um, like Paula mentioned, the um, lecture registration is open online. Um, you can always pay attention to those lecture events um, by following End Market on Facebook. L Paula, do you want to talk about how to register online? Yeah, so one more time, just real quick. HealthySavannah.org is where you go. Just HealthySavannah.org. And you can also, uh, uh, so you find the Encourage Health logo there uh, on the right, and then click on that to register. Uh, for any four of the educational series. And then if you want to follow us on Facebook and or on Twitter, then you'll see those icons up in the uh, upper right-hand corner, and you can uh, do that as well. All right, beautiful. All right, thank you, Paula and Mel Melody. Melody, for, yeah. for being on the show. Uh, we will be right back in a second. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we're going to do some ads. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. All right. 